I'm about 10 miles from Land's End in Newlyn, which is one of the two big ports in Cornwall. The other is Falmouth. And the fishing industry is very important here because out in that bay, there are so many varieties of fish. This is just one of a few coal stores where the fish are brought in Newlyn. This is Robin Turner. What do you do, Robin? Well, I'm a boat agent, wholesaler, retailer, processor. Everything. You name it, we do it. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. So what kind of fish have you got here? Uh, we've got mackerel, there's lemon soles, there's John Dory's, turbot, Some monk. monkfish. Look at the monkfish yep. going in there. So there's a real wide variety of fish caught in Newlyn. Yes, certainly. The Western approaches are one of the richest fishing areas in the world. And where do the fish go from here? Uh, for example, all over the United Kingdom, some monk will be going to Italy today. Uh, Switzerland, France, Belgium, Holland, wow. Spain. Any sold locally? Yeah, oh, yes, quite a bit. Yeah. Quite a bit, yes. Robin was locally. telling me there's some fish here worth £100, is that right? £100 per a fish. This one. Oh. Uh, the big one, not the small one, the big one. That's that one a small there. One. That's a small oh, one. Oh, that's a small one. <laughs> so how much is that worth? That one's about 60 quid. 60 quid, not bad. And the big <laughs> one's £100. That's right. Wow. Cornwall is famous for delicious shellfish meals, such as buttered lobster, crab salad, crab sandwiches, of course. And Julian here is a member of a family business, which is a shellfish business, obviously, which is doing very well. Well, yeah. yeah. And is, is Newlyn Bay, or the bay just off Newlyn, is, is that famous for shellfish? Is it full of shellfish or not? Yes, New, well, Mounts Bay and the whole of Cornwall, really. What kind of shellfish, generally? It's, uh, well, as you see, spider crabs here, yeah. lobsters, crayfish. And you call this a... A something tank here? Is, um, this is a harvest Vivier tank. Vivier yeah. tank, what does that mean? Um, it's just like a storage tank for shellfish to keep the shellfish alive. Is that a French, French, French word? French name, yeah. yeah. French word. So, where does it go from here? Um, well, these are being packed now today. They're going into a Vivier lorry over there, which are going to be delivered to Spain for the market on Wednesday, possibly, in Madrid. Yeah. So, uh, mainly Spain, so anywhere else? Mainly Spain. These are all destined for Spain. On Saturdays we'll do a lorry to France as well, where we go to France, but most of it is to Spain, they are very keen on it. Do you uh, sell it locally? We do a few, but no, I mean, the English really aren't quite as into shellfish as what the Europeaners are. Oh, really? It all gets imported, yeah, unfortunately. What New Lynn is famous for is the pilchard. In fact, for over 400 years, pilchards have been salted, pressed and exported to Europe from this place, the Pilchard Works, which is Britain's last working salt pilchard factory. This is Martin, who's worked at the Pilchard Works for seven years now. Hi, Martin. OK, yeah. So is this the first stage, then? Have, have, have these fish been freshly caught and then brought straight here? Well, they, they were freshly caught about six to ten weeks ago. Oh, really? Yeah, and they were put in salt. So stored and then brought to this stage? That's right, And what's yeah. this machine doing now? All this is doing is just washing the fish off, yeah. and then uh, they're ready to go upstairs then after the washing process. So, so just ordinary water, washing them in ordinary water? Just, just a little bit of salt in it, just to take out any like, sort of bugs in the water, like, you know? Right. Yeah. I know that they're called Sardina pilchardus. Yeah. So does that mean that they're actually sardines, or are they pilchards? Well, they're just an adult sardine. That's they all look they very are. fresh, very big as well, and they smell absolutely delicious. I mean, they're just... Oh, so fragrant, first thing in the morning. Lovely. Is this, as well as being the factory, and other people come here as well, so is it a museum too? It's a museum as well, yeah. The idea of the museum was to get around the European laws. They were asking us to do away with all the old-fashioned presses and the wood boxes. Yeah. And we had to uh, go to a museum to show all the crafts that have gone on over the years so we could carry on doing it the old-fashioned way. So the pilchards have been washed downstairs and then they're brought upstairs and Terry does the packing. Hi, Terry. Morning. How morning. long have you worked here? Uh, well, I've been doing them for about 30 years now. And roughly. very nicely too, look at the yeah. patterns. You look at this, can I have a go? You certainly can have a go. Like you say, back to there and belly under, what we, we call it, belly under the back. No. Belly make under sure, the back. That's right, make sure your belly, no, back, back, turn over. Oh, but no, that way, that's oh, it. Oh, you see it. That's it, there, that way. You realise there's so, so much in... Into... No, other way around again, yeah, something, no, other way. Like that. Uh, belly under the back. You wouldn't get money done, oh, would you, if I was packing them, Terry? <laughs>
Belly under the back. <laughs> oh, no, I've just never packed any bulges before, Terry. That's what it is. Where well, are they going yeah, from here? No, belly under, no, belly under the on, back. You do it, Terry. You do it. Huh? You do it, because I'm covered in bulges yet. <laughs> yeah. Where are they going from here? They'll all be shipped off to Italy from here. Like we say, we've been exporting to Italy since 1450 from Cornwall. Really? So they, they must be, they must like the old Cornish pilchard. And by the way, this thing is called a coffin, by the way. A coffin? We call this a coffin. Well, they certainly are dead in there, <clears> aren't they? Pete, that's, why, that's what people say, why do you call them coffins? Well, we say, the fish are dead and they're laid out. Yeah. So, <laughs> but we put these on top then, and we, these are called what we call a buckler. They're a called buckler? A, a buckler. Buckler, B-U-C-K-L-E-R. All right, okay. Buckler, like yeah. that, put four of them on top. Is that an old Cornish word? I don't know where he come from. Somebody uh, come up with the idea of buckler, I suppose. Like that. And then the... Uh, oh, wow, look Pressing board on top. And what are you doing there? Are you sealing in the freshness or something? No, no, the, this, the idea of this is to squeeze out all the liquid that's in the fish. The, so the, the drier the fish, the, the better it that's tastes. That's right, the drier the fish, the better they are. The longer they last, we take about four hours to press that down, yeah. Well, that, but not by hand. Oh, yeah, everything's done by hand, packed by hand, pressed by hand. Well, it'll take you four hours to do this. Yeah, we just, I mean, as we're packing, we got to keep coming around every half hour to give them a bit of a turn. Well, if you don't live anywhere near Cornwall, you might think it's a long way to come to taste pilchards, but believe me, this is the only place in Britain where you can have the freshest, tastiest pilchards. So let's have a little try. They're wonderful. They're really wonderful, really meaty. Strong taste, but fresh. Oh, you can taste the sea. They're just caught out there. And if you think my packing's terrible, excuse me, just have a look at this. It took me three days to do that. 